They are taking these big giant tablecloths and they are wrapping them around everything in town. They're wrapping it around the big giant tree. They're wrapping it around the big giant house. They're covering the entire floor in entire Hopitzville. They're covering with these white tablecloths. And Beryl and Schmel don't know what's going on, so they go over to an old man and they ask the old man, why are they covering everything in white? And the old man says, I'll tell you why they're covering everything in white. The reason why they're covering everything in white is because the king is coming to visit. And a long time ago, when the king said that he's coming to visit Hobbitsville, you know what happened? Nobody prepared anything for the king. And when the king came, everybody ignored him. And the king got so upset that the king said he's never ever gonna come back to Hobbitsville. No, we have this event every year. I brought up a show every year and one of the people come. We sit by the mirror and we think about the Nisim and the flights that happen. And Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, I have a future lawyer with me. Maybe more people will like him. But, uh, I don't get wrong. Uh, but we're hoping by the time next time it comes, uh, next Hanukkah comes, we will not have a need for this. We will hopefully by next Hanukkah, if not sooner, be in Yerushalayim. I want to take this time though to thank Mrs. Bender. Let's have a hand for Mrs. Bender. <laughs> Mrs. Shweki. And all the dedicated people who help out every day at the Children's Center. Let's have a hand for them. A friend of the time of oh, what's your name? Let's have a hand for Yaakov. You want to sing a little? You like to sing? No, he doesn't like to sing. All right, without further... Would you like to sing? Without further ado, Yaakov Schwecki.